Hello friends, this video on determinant part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study determinant introduction. We will study determinant of order 1, 2 and 3. We will study some properties of determinant. We will study how to find areas of triangle using determinant. We will study new term called minors and cofactors link to determinant. We will study how to find adjoint and inverse of a matrix. And we will also study applications of determinant and matrices in real life. So before we even study determinant, let's try to understand why do we need determinant. The same question, what will happen if we don't study determinant? What is that thing which you will miss in life if you study determinant? Or where will you use determinant in your real life, maybe today or in future? The first field where we generally use determinant and where we widely use determinant is in the field of science. If you are planning to be in the field of science, in future you want to be a scientist or engineer, in that case, determinant is a must for you. We use determinant in field of science. Also in the field of computers, as I told, matrices are also used in the field of computer science. Similarly, determinants are also used in the field of computer science. Matrices are determinant are almost, I can't say same, but I can say determinant is extension of matrices because we find determinant of a matrix. So if we know matrix, if we know what is matrix, then only we should study determinant. So since matrix is used in the field of computer science to represent data and then manipulate data, similarly determinant is also used in the field of computer science. Determinant is used to find if three points, if you see in a uh, plane are collinear or not. They are they lie in the same point or they are in different uh, they are collinear, non-collinear, all those things which we can find using determinant. Also, there is a matrix we can tell using determinant if for this particular matrix inverse will exist or not. So inverse of matrix exists or not, we can tell using determinant. If you want to find area of triangle, you know all the coordinates, you know the coordinates, this guy, you know the coordinates of this point, this point, all this point, A, B, C. If you know the coordinates, you can very easily find area of the triangle using determinant. Also, if you have two equations, for example, A1x plus B1y is equal to C1, A2x plus B2y is equal to C2, we can solve this using determinant. Normally also we can solve, we know various methods we have learned in the previous classes how to solve uh, these kind of equations but we can also solve using determinant. So going by the application of determinant we see that determinant are widely used in field of science, computers, maths, engineering, a lot of places. So that is the reason why we will study determinant. The next slide I will start you, I will introduce you what it is is determinant. First, the first prerequisite for determinant is matrix. So if you know matrices, good, we can continue with this chapter. If you don't know matrices, please pause, go to my matrices video, watch the video, understand the matrices properly, then only come to this chapter. Because before understanding what is determinant, why do we need determinant? Matrices understanding is must. You should know what is matrices and you should be comfortable in matrices. Once you are comfortable in matrices, then only you can understand determinant. So what are determinant? Determinant is nothing but for every square matrix. Please note, the first thing is determinant is applicable only for square matrix. We can associate a number that is real or complex and that number is called determinant because what happens is see generally the matrix which we have is of this form a1 b1 a2 b2 this kind of form and there is no real number that represents this it's very sometimes cumbersome to you know represent this in this fashion because it's just nothing but array array of numbers this is 2 by 2 array so what we do we represent this guy as a number a real or complex number. 
and that number is called determinant. So, for we will we'll tell you how to find determinant for 1 cross 1 matrix, 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3, n cross 3. We will tell you how to find that, but just note that determinant is nothing but a mapping of the matrices with a real number. This is a real number, real or complex number, any number actually. So, real or complex number, and this side we have matrices. So, this mapping this mapping so this guy is nothing but determinant so the real and uh, complex number which is used to represent matrices is called determinant we have wide application of determinant as i told it is used to find the area of triangle and sometimes to find the inverse of the matrices and that is the reason we are studying determinant but logically determinant is nothing but for a matrix we represent that matrix in a as a real number or we can associate a matrix as a real or complex number and that is called determinant. For example, if we have this matrix A, B, C, D, this is my matrix, then determinant of this A is represented by det A. If this is my matrix D, E, T, A, this is how I represent a determinant and this is nothing but A with a double var. Please note this guy is not a modulus, this is a determinant. Determinant of a is nothing but a and this bars. This is the symbol of determinant of a. And the what is the value of this? That we will learn in the next slides. But just understand the naming convention. For a matrix a, this is the matrix. When I say determinant a, I represent that guy as d e t a or a with two bars. So matrix is represented in this fashion if you see, right? And determinant is this fashion. So please don't get confused. This is generally used for matrix. So when I say here it has it has term A, B, C, D. And this guy, when I say like this, there is no cut here. This is for determinant. Correct. So matrix and determinant, there is a difference. So determinant is nothing but an association of the matrix to a real or complex number. We will tell you how to associate that and the mathematically to represent that you say D E T A for determinant of A and mathematically it's, it is A with two lines. Please note which I already told once again, A is read as determinant of A, not modulus of A. Example, when you say X and X modulus is this, we have learned the modulus symbol and the determinant symbol looks almost same, but they are not same. When I say matrix for this matrix like this, this I am saying, I am talking about determinant of A. For a number when I use this, I generally say modulus of the number, but for matrix when I use this two lines, that becomes determinant of the matrix but for a number when I use this two line that becomes modulus of the matrix so there is a difference for number if I use these two lines this becomes modulus for example minus 3 modulus for matrix if I have a matrix here matrix here if I use this line that is nothing but determinant Okay, please make your concept clear here because don't get confused between modulus and determinant. So this guy is always determinant if A is a matrix. If A is a number, that means it is a modulus. But here in our chapter, we are totally uh, concerned about matrices and determinant also. So we will not even use this term modulus just to avoid confusion. And the second thing as told is for every square matrix, you have a determinant. That means only square matrices can have determinant. Please note, only square matrix can have determinant. To have determinant, the first and the critical condition is that the matrices has to be a square matrix. So, now the question comes, how you got this word determinant? From where we, you got this word determinant? So, there is a story behind this. And the story is, 
If you see this equation, this equation you must be familiar with. There are two equation, linear equation with, with x and y variable. A1 x plus B1 y is equal to C1. A2 x plus B2 y is equal to C2. Now, for this equation we know that if we want to find whether solution exists or not. How to find? That we find with this guy. A1 by A2 if this is equal to B1 by B2 I think you have infinite solutions and if A1 by A2 infinite or 0 infinite or 0 if A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2 then you have distinct solution correct so same thing I'm adding here the solution of this equation whether it has unique solution or not for this equation for the whole system of equation whether it has unique solution or not is determined by a1 b2 that is a1 b2 minus b2 a1 sorry a1 b2 minus b1 a2 correct so this is the guy that determines please note this is the guy a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is the guy that determines whether this system of equation has a unique solution or not so a1 b2 minus a2 b1 please note this is the key here this guy is determining so this guy is nothing but determinant for this equation so if you see here the same thing as i wrote here a1 b2 is equal is not equal to b1 by b2 a2 by sorry a1 by b1 is not equal to a2 by b2 yeah a2 by b2 and here, here a1 by b1 is equal to a2 by b2. Same thing actually, it's all the same, same only. So if you see, if a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is not equal to 0, then the system has a unique solution. And this is what is determined. So for this, if I say I have a matrix A, which has this value, this is a matrix A, a1 b1, a to b2 for this matrix the determinant will be nothing but a1 b2 you multiply this minus a to b1 so if you see this guy is nothing but determinant why because this guy determines whether this equation has unique solution or not and that is why the word determinant has come so just a knowledge for you that the word determinant has come. Why? Because if you represent this equation, this system of equation in the form of matrix, that this will become this matrix into x, y matrix is equal to this constant. And this is also matrix. So in this equation, this, this whole system, this whole system, when you want to see whether this system has unique solution or not, this is determined by determinant. This guy is determined by this guy, correct? See, for this equation, we know that if a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is equal to 0, then that is correct. So, here the, the thing that determines whether this equation has unique or non unique solution is a1 b2 minus a2 b1. The same equation is represented in the matrix form. So this is a normal form, this is matrix form. This is matrix form. So, now to see whether this system has unique solution or not, we use determinant to determine and this determinant is nothing but a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So we will learn, we will take more slides where we will uh, tell you how to find determinant for 1 cross 1, 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3 kind of matrices. But just understand the reason why it came is because determinant is something that tells you whether the system of equation has unique solution or not and that is why the word determinant came now, thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again